Turning on the lights is something many of us take for granted. But 1.7 billion people worldwide live without electricity. 500 million of those are in Sub-Saharan Africa. A new World Bank Group initiative plans to change that. The baseline technology is in my hand here. And this is one where a family with five children and a mother living in a house half the size of the room I'm in now are spending $10 per week to provide this light. That's the baseline, and that's, that's the price to beat. The Lighting Africa initiative aims to enlist the private sector, as well as donors, to replace fossil fuel-based lamp with more affordable, cleaner, and safer lighting products. It will help improve the quality of life in Africa and sustainable development, and it will also contribute to the protection of the global environment by reducing the use of fossil fuels and the associated greenhouse gas emissions. The aim is to benefit 250 million people in sub-Saharan Africa by the year 2030. Power is at the heart of development. You need electricity for everything in order to be efficient. And, and so as far as the people of Africa are concerned, the most visible demonstration that economic governance has worked is to be able to switch on the light. Already more than 350 companies have shown interest in the initiative. It includes a competition offering up to $2.5 million in awards to the best designs and delivery of low-cost non-fossil fuel lighting products for low-income consumers in sub-Saharan Africa.